colors here and with it new colors, new designs, deco ideas or also baking things, I will show you 5 things you need to do this fall in this video. In fall we need candles and this is why I will show you easy and cheap design for really nice candles. You just need to can and the sharp nail, put, place your nail wherever you like to make a hole and then just go on this with a hammer. I wear gloves so that I can't hurt myself so much and it's really good when one person holds it or when you secure it somewhere else so that the can can't move and then just continue like this and make holes wherever you like it. Yes, create whatever shape you like to create. It's more easy when you create um, what you like to do with a pen before that you can remove later. And yes, when it's ready, we will just paint this whatever color you like. You can also choose a color that looks more full like. I decided to take this nice blue. And don't worry at the holes you've made. You will just paint them over. And when it's dried, you can just go in there with a toothpick. And I think it turned out really, really nice. I used some other colors and this is how it looks like. You can place candles in there or just let it like it is. In fall, it's also typical to bake some or cook something with pumpkins. So here I will show you a quick and easy vegan gluten-free recipe for cookies. And I will also show you how to make your own pumpkin puree because you don't have it everywhere. So you just use, I think they're called a sugar pumpkin. Cut this in half, remove all the seeds and bake it at 160 degrees for one hour. Don't worry when it looks like this. This is how it should be because now when it's a little bit cool, we can remove easily the flesh inside our pumpkin and place it in such a mixer because now we want to mix it. I don't know. I never bought such balls, such a pumpkin puree, but I think it turned out really, really nice. I just placed it in such a box and you can keep this for about one week in your fridge. Or you can also refrigerate it and I got 600, about 600 grams of this. Now we will preheat our oven at 175 degrees to make our cookies and therefore you just place 120 gram almond butter in such a bowl. Then we will add 60 gram pumpkin puree. You can also of course use one that you have bought. Then 30 gram maple syrup or milliliter that's the same. And for our pumpkin spice we will add 2 tablespoons cinnamon and 1 fourth ginger, cloves, nutmeg and of course at least some salt for the cookie flavoring. And now just mix everything with a spoon and then you will use a baking sheet with some baking paper and just place your cookies however big you like to have them or flat or not flat. Just place them on there. You don't have to worry that they go into each other when you bake them that doesn't really happen I got this amount of cookies and then I just made them a little bit more flat and a little bit spread them and then we will just place them in our oven for 50 minutes let them cool and then you can remove them and enjoy them The next room decor idea really costs nothing. You would just need such a jar. I just used the one that I had from my almond butter and you will place this in the dishwasher or just wash it with your hands, dry it a little bit and then you can place whatever you like in there. I used chest starts. You can also use for example fur corns or rose hips and whatever you like. Just fill it in there and yes, you're already ready. I made three of them them all with chestnuts but I think it looks also cool when you fill them with different things. For the next room recall we will also use chestnuts because you can just make so much cool things with chestnuts I think. I just created a word with them. You can also create um, something a different word of course or just a shape like heart and yes it turns out so cool and it's so easy and cheap. Last but not least, I will show you a nail design. It's a leaf nail design. I just painted my nails in this mint coloring. I really like this color and when I pull over together, it looks so cool and foldy. But you can also use any other color and yes, because it's very bright, I need to make two layers and then we will just use some brown to create a leaf. So you basically just create some curved lines and 
put them together at the end. It's a quite modern design, so it doesn't really look so much like a leaf. You would then just fill in the rest with some brown. And I just did this on two nails. You can also, of course, do this on all of your nails or some other nails. And I think it turns out really, really nice and looks really folly. This is how it looks. I hope you liked the video.